you know our next guest from the office and call me by your name. Well, now they're teaming up on the big screen in the powerful new movie, Beautiful Boy, and they're already getting Oscar buzz. Please welcome Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> What can we say? They're excited to see you two. And, and this, this is great. Timothy, this has been a dream for you. Absolutely. Because you said this man here sitting to your right, you're one of his biggest fans. So what was it like to work with someone you admire so much? I was much? really nervous. I didn't want him to know. I mean, who, <laughs> who here is a fan of The Office, right? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't want Steve to know because I thought he would be creeped out. Now, The Office, one of your favorite works that he's done? Absolutely, or Foxcatcher, The Big Short, Vice is about to come out. I'm your, <laughs> <laughs> I'm your, I'm your publicist now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but it really is amazing, the work that you've done. And Timothy, you as well. You, you are the youngest Best, best Actor nominee in almost 80 years. Yes. Wow. <laughs> 22 years old at the time. And, and Steve, with you, you're an accomplished actor yourself, so did you learn anything from Timothy? Oh my gosh, he came in and auditioned. I've never seen an audition better than his audition. It was incredible. I mean, it, we all, when he left the room, we all looked at each other and just said, that's it, it's done. Who here has seen that, the Anchorman audition though? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that what this, yes. that's what this is going to turn yes. into? Yeah. Yeah, but, but this movie, this is based on a true story. And, and I know your agents, when he brought this to you, said, you know, Steve, this could be kind of tough because the character you're playing, he's actually a pretty handsome man. Right. <laughs> How did, what was your response yeah. to that? Um, yeah, my agent said, David Chef is a pretty sexy guy, so you're going to have to step it up a little bit. <laughs> I, I and personally I failed think you're miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I think he's a who thinks he's a handsome man. Oh my God! Woo! I don't think you're a handsome man. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Right. That's just to wake you up. Man. Yeah, sure. But uh, this this movie, Beautiful Boy, it's a it's a powerful story. It's about a, a father's struggle to help his son with addiction and how addiction not only affects the immediate but so many people around it. And we're going to take a little clip at the work you two have done. Here's Beautiful Boy. I've been doing some research. Been doing research? You gotta no. be kidding me, Dad. You think that you have this under control. Mm -hmm. And I understand how scared you are. I understand why I do things. It doesn't make me any different, all right? I'm attracted to craziness, and you're just embarrassed because I was like, you know, I was like this amazing thing, like your special creation or something, and you don't like who I am now. Yeah, who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad. Here, this is who I am. Wow. Oh. Wow. And you can see this is, it's, it's very powerful, very emotional. But you said acting with Steve, you felt protected by him. Yeah, I get, um, I don't want to sound cheesy, but I get great dad vibes from Steve. <laughs> and uh, no, I immediately felt like well taken in and nurtured and, and safe. And, and, and Steve, I know for you, there was a little office reunion from um, um, Dunder Mifflin, love, love Ho your love on the show Holly. Right. Yeah, Amy Ryan, she actually is in the movie as yeah. well. So how was that for you, getting back together with her? It was great, but we like each other. We play a divorce couple in this movie, but we naturally like each other so much that the first scene where we have to embrace, it was way too warm for this, <laughs> this divorce couple that, you know, still care about each other, but don't just love each other. So we kind of clicked into Holly and Michael mode there for a second, we had to pull back. And, and when you're in a film like this that is heavy and it's a, a, a tough subject, how do you keep it light on set? I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I, uh, I was constantly in a state of freaking out, especially when Amy and Steve were on set, because um, that would just keep it light automatically because Michael and Holly were there. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's true. Like, you're dealing with heavy material and a heavy subject matter, you almost don't want to, you don't want to make yourself, you don't want to lean into it too much, you know? Yeah, and, and Ellie Kemper was here. She's here for GMA Day, and she told us something about you. We had no idea that on the set of The Office, she went to reach for a bagel and they yelled at her and said, you didn't have a tong to grab the bagel. Only Steve Carell can grab a bagel with his hands. <laughs> so it, it, well, during that... the office, it, to, to, in my defense, I had my hands replaced with tongs. <laughs> <laughs> so I was able to just, just so I could do that.
Well, I tell you what, don't, don't ever replace anything else because you two are fantastic. It works speaks for itself. And this movie, Beautiful Boy, speaks to a lot of people out there. And I'm glad you guys did this because I've had this in my family. So it's good to be able to see this on film so other people can get through this stuff. Thank you so much, Steve. Timothy, I love, I love seeing you, man. And it is Beautiful Boy. It's in select theaters on Friday. Make sure you go check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.